The Mangano partnership has been incredibly important to rethink the role of universities and how they work with communities. The traditional model of academics and research is to go in and do some data collection, extract that information, publish it, and leave. And hopefully someone else would listen to it at some point in the future. And our partnership with Mangano has really enabled us to turn that on its head. What we try to do is to sustain the data collection and the partnership over multiple years. Not worry so much about um, publishing and getting the, the, the credit for the work, but really building a partnership that provides information for action on the ground. I think that's another difference. Sustaining the partnership has been rethinking the role of academics in action, not just research, but action research. What we so collecting information for policy, for planning, for interventions. So I think those, those things have really changed the way the university uh, sees its role as a partner and not as some, uh, an institution that uh, just go, you know, shows up, provides uh, some data collection and takes that away and doesn't give back to uh, the community. I think most importantly, what we've committed to do as a partner over the years is to also train and build capacity of local students and um, you know, members of, of Mangano and Pomo, uh, Pomoja, MUST, uh, SDI, etc. So I think um, how we've been able to do that in multiple ways through um, you know, traditional learning and sharing, but also ex the exchanges that we've had where we've had our Kenyan partners come to Berkeley and really become lecturers and professors and instructors for us to learn about is changing dynamics in cities, um, particularly here in Nairobi. I think, um, unfortunately, the kind of partnership that we have and that we've developed is not valued that explicitly by most universities. Um, the expectation in my role as a professor is to extract data from you, publish it, and move on. And in fact, um, not invest in long-term partnerships, particularly with community organizations, NGOs, civil society, you know, maybe with others who um, may be more prominent or seen as uh, more prestigious. Uh, so I'm continually having to justify why am I doing this, particularly doing it often with little or no resources to the university. So I'm not getting millions of dollars in, in grant money and so that the university takes some indirect or overhead cost which is also what they want me to do. Research that's big, abstracted research that raises lots of money for the university. Um, so again, something that isn't necessarily part of what uh, we do, although we could use those big pots of money, of course. Um, so I'm continually having to justify it. So how do we do that? We do that in ways that the students, both the Berkeley students, the University of Nairobi students, um, tell the stories of the, the impact that, that the partnership has had um, in their lives. People have come and um, radically changed their ideas of what they want to do with their life having participated in the studio. People have decided, hey, I want to go on to go to medical school or I want to be a lawyer or uh, I want to do ad community organizing and advocacy because I've been so inspired by working with Mongano or I see the inequalities that they're working on and I either want to go back and partner uh, in a place like Kenya or go to my home community where I'm from, wherever that is in the world, uh, and also work at the community level for change and recognizing that they could be a partner in that. Uh, so we've tried to document the impacts on students, the impact on some of our, our faculty who have joined this partnership along the years. Um, and we do the traditional things like still have to publish and write up some of our work collaboratively. Um, but it's also about writing and documenting the processes that we've used together, not just the outcome or the data. Um, so those have been ways that I've tried to, um, you know, tell my university president this is a value um, to us. And I think, but the most important story that I always tell and come back to is how we can try to add value to the work uh, on the ground and most importantly, the lives 
and living conditions of slum dwellers in Nairobi and in Kenya. So um, that's the impact that we're committed to. And that's the story we always try to come back to and how do we document that uh, and say, this is what a university community partnership that really tries to um, be equitable and fair and an on, on, have an ongoing commitment can achieve.